Some news now that's getting a lot of attention on the Business Courier website and social media sites. Not surprising based on our stock segment earlier, there is lots of interest in stories about Kroger. The Courier has reported a prediction that Cincinnati-based Kroger is ready to buy another company and continue its growth. Some industry observers are predicting Kroger will, be, will move into the Florida market with the purchase of Bilo Holdings, which owns and operates more than 800 Bilo and Winn-Dixie stores in eight states. A report that data analytics firm Dunhunby is on the selling block has analysts wondering if Kroger might be a logical buyer. Dunhunby's U.S. unit is already a 50-50 joint venture with Kroger. That begs the question of whether Kroger would aim to buy the whole data analytics company. Dunhunby reportedly generated $1 billion in annual sales in 2012. Orchids at Palm Court in the Cincinnati Netherland Plaza has been awarded a prestigious ranking by the American Automobile Association. AAA awarded Ohio's only five diamond award to orchids. Only 63 restaurants in North America have received the five diamond rating in 2015. Cincinnati-based Procter & Gamble filed a lawsuit against four former employees of its Gillette subsidiary, claiming they shared trade secrets with a competitor. The suit alleges that the former employees breached confidentiality contracts with Gillette after being hired or retained as consultants by Shave Logic, a Dallas-based company. And there's speculation about a new frontrunner to replace A.G. Lafley as CEO of Procter & Gamble. An internal announcement sent to P&G employees announced that David Taylor, current group president of Global Health and Grooming, would add the beauty business to his responsibilities. The change puts Taylor in charge of two of P&G's four business units, which could mean he is next in line to lead the whole company as CEO.